Welcome, my name is Robert and I'd like to welcome you to my video version of my quad project that I have listed on the web. Uh, first things I'd like to do is cut this pipe down. This is inch and a half PVC schedule 40 and basically I cut this to 60 inches because that's the length I need to use on 10 meters if it was the uh, it was being used for 11 meter CB band, then it would be 62 inches, but in this case it's 60. I've already cut it and use a hacksaw, miter saw, uh, chop saw, they all work fine. Uh, try to make the end square if you can. Okay, the next item on the list, I'll just lay this down here for a sec. We have these five-way connectors. They're inch and a half all the way around. Uh, these are the things that make this PVC antenna project possible. I found these on the web by accident and uh, without these I wouldn't be able to do this project. But anyway, uh, so we have these. The first thing we want to do is take some crunched up uh, brown paper bag and stuff it in the center hole. And the reason we're putting these on, putting these into the center hole is to prevent any uh, PVC cement from dripping down onto the other connectors as we're putting these things together. So just stuff some uh, uh, brown paper bags in each end. And basically what we've got is here is a drill press uh, with a quarter inch uh, bit in it. The first version I have that I made last year that I've got outside and it's working great. Uh, I use just a simple hand drill but I now have a drill press, it makes making the holes a little bit easier. So after you cut the uh, 60 inches of PVC pipe, cut off about two inches and just have that piece ready. And basically what you do, or at least what I did anyway, is I just take it and put it in one of these things, I put the other one in, I just kind of tap it together until I get it in as far as it will go, so it's good and solid. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill the holes here so it'll eventually mount on the uh, 60 inches of PVC pipe and you need to take it and just tap it down a little bit so these are both square plumb and then you put it on the drill press if you're lucky enough to have one and you drill your holes all the way through to the other side and just turn it around and do it the same way uh, then you take it apart it's a lot of work but <laughs> you take it apart excuse me you take your quarter inch bolt and just insert it, make sure that it fits and it looks like it might, oh I hope so, there it is. So it comes out the other side so you know that that fits and that's, that's a good thing. Okay, so basically you have that, I'm just going to use these to get this out. We're all done with this little piece for the time being. Okay, so you take that. Once you've drilled the holes, and so that you know that they're where they're supposed to be, then you take these and you put them on the ends of your 60 inch pipe, you tap them in as far as they're supposed to go, you take the whole mechanism with the pieces on the end, you lay it flat on the floor so you know it's a flat surface, and you tap it down so that both of these are in the same plane, one on each end. And then once you do that, then you take the drill bit out of your drill press, if you're lucky enough to have one, you put it in a regular hand drill, and then you drill your holes, top and bottom, so that the holes are going to line up. Then you take these back off again, it's a lot of work, but it gets the job done. You take these off again, and then you start to assemble these. And what these are, the reducers, if you looked at the website, you, it kind of explains what they are. It basically takes it down from an inch and a half to a half inch PVC pipe. Okay, so you put those in all of your openings, but one of the things that you need to do before we forget it is take a piece of tape and put it over the ends that go onto the pipe, the main pipe, because this is not going to stick for me, but basically that's to prevent you from accidentally putting these little inserts into the wrong opening because one of the things about PVC 
once you make a decision to do something, there ain't no turning back. It's permanently there, and as you can see with this, I made a mistake and I ruined this one, so I've learned my lesson. So you take and you glue all these in place, and I get this four on each. And once you've got that in place, then you move on to these basically spokes is what they are that support the fiberglass tubes, fiberglass rods. And uh, you take and you glue all these in place so that they're good and solid. And on the end of these, I cut a four-way slot to make these things compressible so when we put the fiberglass rod down there we can adjust it increase and decrease until we get it set to the right length for the band that we're using and then we just tighten up the hose clamps and that locks it into place. Uh, so that pretty much takes care of that part of it. Uh, I think we're going to cover a little bit more in the next episode but I just wanted to cover some ground rather quickly so you can see how those things go together. Sometimes a picture is worth a thousand words and if you've never done anything like this, a little bit, you're a little bit unsure of it, uh, it's not that complicated. Like I say, just make sure that when you get ready to glue everything up, you got the pieces there, you swab the inside and you swab the outside of the adapter, press it in, this makes it go in a lot easier and the same way with, with these spokes. You put it on the spoke, you put it on the inside of the adapter and drive it clean down as far as it will go because it has a little place, a notch, so it won't go all the way through. And, and that brings everything together. So you basically, we're, we're over halfway there already. Uh, and like I say, the, the uh, brown paper bag that's squished up and put in, as you're putting the glue on these things, if you didn't put something in there, it might drip down onto the other side, or if you did it here, it would drip down to this. It might prevent you from sticking the adapter in down here so it's a little safety thing and when you're done all doing that done with that you could pull it out because you won't need it anymore but uh, it's a good it's a good safety practice it saves a lot of reordering of parts if you make a mistake um, so that's it on this episode and the next episode what we're going to do is we're going to cover inserting the fiberglass rods which is not really a big deal um, and then you've got also we've got uh, the wire that's going to be strung around the perimeter of this what they call a cubicle quad. Uh, it's a four-sided, uh, four-wave antenna is what it basically is. It's been around since at least the 50s. Excellent antenna. I love the one I have, and but I like to make improvements. And uh, so we'll uh, we'll talk about that on the next episode. Thank you.